What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios, Mixing It Up Podcast, Episode 9. And uh, we got my boy Kadeem in the building. Man, what's up? What's up? Thanks uh, for coming through, man. I appreciate you. Hey, I'm glad I could come through. Hell yeah, man. So uh, Kadeem and I met probably about, I think it's been a year ago now, right? Yeah, it's Something like been that. a year. Yeah, so... Um, Came over with Zebo, did a video here in the studio. Dope video, by the way. Oh, yeah. That, that came uh, out crispy. 5 a.m. in the studio. I think yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, it came out. It came out dope. So that was uh, one of our first times kind of linking up, meeting up, and that, that was a cool experience. But ever since then, man, you know, my podcast is about to educate and inspire. I like to bring, you know, cats on in our area and hopefully to expand to other areas that maybe that I see grinding, you know. I uh, I see you very consistent out there, and that's something I always preach, and I think that's kind of where, now where you're being seen and consistently doing work, so we'll talk a little bit about that, but I just wanted to say thanks for coming on again, and uh, that's why I kind of wanted to have you on, man, because I appreciate your work ethic, and I see what you're doing out there, and uh, also contrib- you know, contributing as a creator and to the community, bro, so. Oh, man, thanks, man. I try to be. I, that's what I'm trying to do, just make a, an imprint on the city. Really, that's like my main goal, and then just expand out of the city eventually. Like, so. yeah, okay, dope. So, um, just for people that don't know, um, why don't you just tell me a little bit how you got, you know, how you got started in the music, or how that started, and how you transferred to video, or if it was just you were involved in video? Because some some cats, obviously, you do a lot of music videos, you know, so. Um, tell me a little bit about your backstory, bro. Um, first, I, I I seen a lot of artists in the city that I I believed in, and I tried to be a, a manager for an artist, um, and then it didn't work out. But I believed in them; it didn't work out. So I was on YouTube one day, and I just seen something about music videos, and instantly, like, it just clicked in me. Like, that's what I want to do. So I just ran with it, like. Some just it was some type of energy in me. I couldn't even explain it, but I knew I'm like, this is what I'm finna do. I'm right. finna learn this. I'm finna and I'm finna help the city. Like I'm finna help push the city. So um I just I really just got um all the information I could. I started searching up everything and learning everything that I needed to learn. So I really was self taught. I learned everything on YouTube and it, whatever I didn't learn off YouTube was the, the direct source came from YouTube. So okay. Um, I, I remember just studying, man, and just studying. I, I even be at work on break, just studying it, learning it. And really, that's how I, I learned it. I'm self-taught everything off YouTube, man. People don't understand. You could learn everything on YouTube, man. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's where I've gotten where my, with my beats. Like, you know, I started there watching YouTube tutorials and then you just watch another one and you see another guy that does something different. And exactly. then you, you know what I mean? So and then you got to go practice and try it a couple of times because a lot of times they make it look easier than you're like, oh, fuck that. Ain't. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I'm telling you, man, I was so scared to get out there to shoot my first video. Yeah, but I just went, you know, got one of my friends who rap and did free videos for him and it just grew my skill from there. So that's how I really got better. And better. Okay. Dope. So, um, I seen you've been doing some vlogging and stuff like that, kind of adding that to your repertoire on your YouTube channel and things like that. So, um, what are you working on kind of right now? What currently is, uh, you know, your main focus? I know you're doing videos, but, uh, yeah, music videos. I, I'm doing music videos, but now I want to get into the vlogging so people can really get to know me. Um, and, I'm gonna get into. I want to get into um, tutorials. You know, like teaching people stuff. Cause I wanna. When I come up, I wanna bring other people up. And other people, you know, always asking me how to do this. Uh, can I teach them stuff? So you know, I really do like to help people. Cause I got help. So mm-hmm. and it was hard at first to find the help. So I wanna be that source for people. So yeah, I wanna do this vlogging. I got new vlogs on the way. I got tutorials on the way. Um, and I got behind the scenes and a lot of new projects come with a lot of new artists um so i just went over to detroit and connected with an artist over there 
And uh, that that video is on the way. It's actually done. It's just waiting to be dropped. Okay. So cool. So um. What what are some of the videos that you've done? Because I know it's always a learning curve, right? Oh, let me go back to this one one thought real quick on the YouTube thing. You know, I think that's cool because I always thought about that too. Like, maybe I should put out tutorials, but there's so many people doing that. And you're kind of like, oh, it's kind of overwashed. But you ever just stumble across the guy's channel and then he has all these subs and you never even heard of him? So it's all about the way the information is portrayed because, you know, somebody could find you and love your channel doesn't mean they're watching the same guys you're watching you know what i'm saying so it's such a vast it's so expansive so why not give out the knowledge that you have and try to expand on that you know so i think that's dope yeah exactly that's that's what i i did think that i'm like man it's a lot of people teaching this but you got i learned that you got to put your own twist on it yep. you, people gravitate to your personality first and then they're gonna gravitate to what you giving out so that's what i want to do i'm gonna just let people gravitate towards my personality so dope all right, so what are some of the ones that are standing out recently? Because like I said, I know it's kind of a learning curve, right? Because you're going to be like, yeah, my first videos, they were all right, you know, whatever. And you always learn more and get more equipment and da-da-da-da-da. But what are what are some of the ones that stood out? Maybe even some of the older ones that kind of taught you something. Well, you got a couple of videos that you would like the audience maybe to check out that you were like, hey, you know. Uh, man, I think the first video that standed out that I did uh, was with Zebo. Um, Fenton and Pate, and it was called What Would You Do? Um, it was like a, a story video, man. We all just put our heads together and came together, and I couldn't believe how it even came out. Like, it's just, that video stood out to me, and it, and it, and it, it was a message in the video, you know, like, just basically how the younger generation is killing each other, and the guy was coming out the store, and the guy did it, somebody did a drive-by on him, so... It really that's that's the first project that stood out to me. Um, another project that stood out to me was with Zebo again. Like shout out to Zebo because he real creative. But um, that video we shot it at a gas station and it was called Bounce Back mm -hmm. and it's basically yep. like bouncing back in life. Like he went to his job, he ended up quitting his job because he was just tired of it and he just felt like he was you know falling down in life and. By the end of the video, he just had his spirits up and just saying, like, I bounced back from everything I went through. So those two videos really stand out to me. That was one of my favorite videos that I did. Oh, so more like the creative uh, into it. Uh, I like to cr yeah. be creative. And, more Because I know the uh, the Some Way video it really had more of a, it was almost it was like a mini movie where you told a story. And that's that's always, you know, important when uh, portraying that emotion in those kind of Man, videos and shit. Man, it give me, it give me all the, the creativeness to bring out out of me so i love doing videos like that man that got a story to it yeah. or, or a meaning so and that yeah that's one thing because you you see a lot of videos and they're kind of the same where you got the rapper and they got a bunch of dudes standing around and they're just standing at different locations it's like you got to do something to you, stand out you know man, do something yeah. to make people think you, you know get, oh, man, you put all like, that time and energy into your music don't just you yeah, know it's just a normal <laughs> normal video so i love that i noticed when i came out to the videographer world in muskegon a lot of new artists was coming out like that wasn't just hood artists or, or stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I'm loving this. I'm loving, I'm seeing different artists and different, their different creativeness. So if, if you, you'll see that with me, like it's a lot of new artists coming out that don't just do hood music. You know, they, they sing, they, they rap, they can do it all. So yeah. that's, that's what I like. So I see you doing a lot of videos for a lot of people, and you got like Dolo coming up. So you've done a handful of videos for him, right? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, so uh, Dolo, uh, Neek. So you do some work with Neek. Oh right? yeah, I love I love working with Neek. Yeah, he's, he a, hard he's a good guy, man. I've um, he's been through here in the studio. I've also seen him out at a show in Detroit. Um, he performed there, and uh, class act that guy is. But yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about how all that worked, man. So you, you got started, right? Started doing some videos. Probably it looks like you worked with Zebo at the beginning. And then what was it, word of mouth? Was it you reaching out? Was it you being more confident in your skills? Or, or what does that look like uh, on a just start working with these different artists and stuff? Man, it really was word of mouth and me getting better with my skills. Um, Dolo reached out to me and we did our first video called Rolling Stones. And after that, we just clicked, you know, like, we just was like, oh, man, we really 
Like, we was meant to, like, work together. And after that, we just really been going. Like, we probably didn't did about seven, probably about seven videos, seven, eight videos now. And every one, I just keep seeing it getting better. I like that about Dolo, though. He pushed me to be better. I pushed him to be better. And uh, with Neek, it was crazy. Like, our first video was called, um, man, what was our first video called? We didn't, I think we didn't did three to four videos. Our first video was called Bottled Up. So he, and he actually reached out to me. So like I said, it's word of mouth. Like as you get better, it's just going to be word of mouth. And people don't understand that, you know, they, you can't reach out. I have reached out to some artists, but most of the time I like to let them reach out to me and I just, you know, show my skills like that way. Cause that's just how I like to do it. But yeah, me and Neek got a couple projects. We done probably did about five to six videos too. Dope. So just word of mouth and then obviously from there shaking hands and networking with people and things like that. But I, I think it's always important to build them, them personal relationships too. But it does make a lot when you can, uh, you know, when you click with an artist. There's people that come through here too, you know. You you, you just click with somebody and then you can be more creative. You know? Yeah, because me and Dolo found out we was family. So, oh. and we just instantly, and we, we really clicked better than that. And Neek, I look at him, you know, like a big brother now. You know, we just really... Like, it's just like, bro, you know, he'll hit me up, do this. Uh, it's just me and him. I look at him like a big brother, though, now. I really like his work ethic, how he grind, like, how he do business. He's a, he a really, he a businessman for real, so. I, I like he gives back, too. He's always oh, giving man. back, and I appreciate that about him. But he, his name's come up several times on the podcast. I'm going to have him over, too. I actually did a full interview with him when I was doing my interviews before when I had my video guy doing all my stuff. So Yeah, shout out to Neat. Mm -hmm. So, all right, man. With that being said, uh, what is maybe some advice or some things you wish you knew off rip, you know, to get going? Because you're obviously it's a never ending journey, right? You always can get better. You you know, you know, as a creator that it's never a, a final destination. You're going to be creating all the time, learning shit, getting new stuff, you know, trying to navigate different problems. But what is maybe some advice to um, some people getting started with the video or even for music for that matter? Because you work with artists. So, you know, what's a way to carry yourself as an artist, too, to uh, really get to that next level? Um, one thing I learned is don't cry about support. Like, whether you're an artist or you shoot music videos, don't cry about support. You just keep working. Make them support you. I never, you never see me on the Internet complaining about support. I just made them support it. You know, if if one nobody sharing my videos or artists wasn't coming to me at first, I I just clicked in my mind like I'm gonna get better. Like I'm gonna get to that point where everybody wanna work with me. So that's one thing I learned. Don't cry about support. You make people support you. If people not supporting you right now, that's just cause you you gotta get better at whatever you're doing. Don't get down or discouraged. That should motivate you. It motivated me. Um, and if you want to get into music videos, shooting music videos, um, the advice I would say is I didn't, I bought all my equipment kind of towards, kind of at once. They they recommend you, you know, buying, starting off little and then building your way up. But I bought all my equipment at once. So I wouldn't quit when stuff got harder. I just, I would say I'm, I'm too deep in, I might as well keep going. So okay. that's really how I stuck with it. You okay. Know? Because most of the time, people going to give up when they can't figure it out or when they feel like people not coming to them. So that's one thing I recommend is just start small, build your way up. And also, I, I look at, I study mu other artists' music videos, but I do it to get better. I don't do it to compare my work. That's one thing you should never do. Never compare your work. Like, you're going to, because you're going to get down. You're going to see yeah. other people that's better than yeah. you. I don't compare my work. If I look at other music videos that's better than mine, I get motivated. Or I, I try to study and see what they doing. I'm like, oh, they did that? Oh, I like that. I like that. And I just try to put my own little touch to it. That's really how I do it. So I would just say uh, to uh, anybody who want to shoot music videos, don't compare your work. And you, you really got to put in the grind for it. You really got to put in the hours for it. Like, it's ten thousand hours yep. for real. Like, yep. don't you can't you can't get in this just doing it for the money because yeah. you're gonna see. Yeah. Like, I wasn't seeing my return, my investment, and in, and in all the hours I put in at first, but I knew it would come. 
I, and if you don't, a lot of people say, oh, it is thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And a lot of people can't afford that. Right. But a lot of people going to make, some people going to make excuses. I, I didn't have thousands of dollars for equipment, but I made a way. Cause yeah. I knew it was something I wanted to do. Right. So I feel like if you want to do something, you're going to make a way. You're going to find a way to get it, you know, really. Dope. I, I, li- I like what you said. And then I just want to go back a little bit. Uh, I know that was a multi-part answer, but you were saying the crying about support. You know, the problem is, is with the whole support thing is like, who have you supported? It's always a kind of, you know, karma is a, a thing. You know, you get out what you get, right? You know, the universe comes back around. So like, exactly. if you ain't giving love, if you ain't going to shows, if you ain't liking other people's shit, sharing other people's shit, talking to other people, just like, hey, Dean, what's up, bro? You know, you know, I just keeping those relationships alive and you just sitting there posting your music and you worried about people saying, oh, no one's giving me love. Well, what love are you giving? What value are you bringing? You know what I'm saying? So. There's that. I definitely agree with you on that. And then that's kind of why I wrote that down when I sent you the little script, the 10,000 hours thing, because that's why I want to know, because, you know, as a creator myself, just doing a podcast, making beats, recording, doing whatever it is, it's all fucking 10,000 hours, man. So I know you be, and that's why I said your consistency and your grind. I know that's the kind of guy you are. So I like the way you said that for sure. Oh, yeah, man. I think. The, I think the reason why I'm so consistent is because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do like in life. I couldn't figure it out. So I told myself when I find out what I want to do, I'm going hard. I'm 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 going, you know, go all in. I'm going to keep my foot on the gas. So that's part of the reason why I'm so consistent. Um another reason is I just I want to see myself get as big as I can, you know, and I know consistency I'm going to get better. The more consistent I be, I'm gonna get better. So those two things really would keep me driving, you know, like and and all the support I get, like I, I'm still shocked at all the support I get. I get a lot of support everywhere I go. It's people coming up to me like, man, you do the videos. Or, I love your videos, you know, man. Keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep grinding. So that's what keep me going, man. Like when when it's days that I just like ready to give up cuz they don't understand you you going to be on the computer for hours yeah you know you your time with people that you love is going to be sacrificed yeah. i done had to sacrifice a lot of time and and stuff with people and it, it you know it's just man it's it's, it's definitely a sacrifice 10,000 hours for real all right, man, we kind of talked about some advice, some things that maybe you wish you knew when you started. Uh, I know they do say don't get all your equipment right away, you know, because then uh, then you have so many learning curves to go through, but it's whatever works for you. Everybody's journey different. Everybody's journeys take time. You know, I think that's a lot of the problem where people don't get started because, like you said, they make excuses because they don't have the perfect fucking camera or the best equipment so they make some excuse on why they can't get started and I, I just think you need to get started just with what you got if you're passionate about it you'll find a way like you did you know you're gonna find a way and and they say it's not the camera that you know that makes the video or that makes the, it's the person behind mm-hmm. the camera really it's people with cheap cameras that then produce dope videos and like I said with Zebo videos I had like a regular T3i or T4i camera and that's like a 300 400 dollar camera and I made some of the best videos with those cameras. So you don't need the best equipment. You don't need every, you know, equipment. You got to get better with what you got. So really, that's the that's the advice I, I, I could give out to people. That's, uh, I definitely like that. So I live by that advice as well. So let's talk about 2020, man. What, uh, what are your aspirations for this year? You got any milestones, any goals that you want to hit? What's going on? So we got SBK. That's what that's what it is. Shot by Kadeem, right? Yeah. So Shot we got S- SBK Productions. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So SBK Productions. Shot by Kadeem. What are we doing twenty twenty? And then you know what are some some goals and where do you see yourself at, man? Uh man, twenty twenty. I got I got some plans. I I plan on launching a, a whole another channel um, towards cars because I'm passionate about cars too but I'm going to you know it's going to be with the camera okay. I, I plan on you know working I want to work with some more artists out of the city uh, as far as music videos I want to I want to still make some more cinematic films I even want to get into maybe shooting a movie for Muskegon you know that's what I'm really thinking about 2020 uh, man I, I, I got I got a lot of plans so I, I want to build my YouTube grow my, my YouTube that I got now and like I said, teach people, teach a lot of people stuff and grow a community for my YouTube for people to come to. Okay. 
So when you're putting all these things together, because I know I got a lot of things going on, you know, I'm trying to sell beats, do all this stuff. You know, I want to do the podcast just to be able to bring value, build the brand. Same thing with, uh, you know, mixing, mastering, all that. Like, how how do you fit that all in? Because I have family too. I know you got oh, family. And shit. So uh, you you are you a structured person? You structure all that shit out, or it's like, oh, here I just kind of go by each day, or you do a little bit of both, or how do you make it work, man? Because I know it's tough when you got so much going on. Man, I I don't even think I'm a structured person. You know, my um my significant other used to tell me like you gotta get you gotta get structured because you you all over the place. But that's how I do it. I just do it day by day. And I, I got a daughter, you know, that I, I, I take care of. I got work, you know, we, I work third shift, so right. I stay up. Yeah. Some nights I stay up and then you got to come home and edit because you're trying to get a project out. Um, You got you just got your, your life, like, and a lot of artists don't understand that. You know, they think you could just edit all day. Yeah. Like, you can't. You got to yeah. sleep, I got a go daughter, to work. Yeah. Yeah. A daughter I got to tend to. So yeah. luckily, though, it's been balancing out. For me, though, you know, I just, I try to get structured. I'm trying to be structured better, though, really. I'm trying to get better with that. So um, it's been working out for me so far, though. I'm, like I said, I've been pushing out music videos, and I've been shooting music videos. I've really been a one-man army for a while, you know, just shooting the videos, editing the videos. So I'm, I'm getting some help now, though, but I really want to build a team. I want, I want a, a photographer. I want a person to shoot my behind-the-scenes. So that's my goal, though, to really build a team. I know I'd be much stronger with a team. That makes sense. Yeah, that's uh, one thing I would like to get to by the end of the year myself, just Man. somebody to edit some of my video for me so I can just create the content. You Man. Know, you know, because yeah. beats are my main focus. Everything else is just kind of secondary, you know. So It's going to help, um, definitely. But, all right, man, well, I, I will say this. Uh is there anything that you want to speak on, even about SPK Productions, anything you want people to know, maybe they don't know about your brand, uh, then I want to get some social media, and then we'll probably wrap this thing up. But uh, is there anything you want to speak on, man? Anything going on with the, you know, with the culture right now? Anything going on with hip-hop? Anything going on with the videographer stuff? Anything you want to clear your chest about? Or even speak on promoting anything you got? Oh, man. I really just want to... Want to tell you know a lot of people want to do this. So I really want to tell people like, just search it up. You everything is on YouTube. I, I had no college for this. I did none of that. I just searched it up on YouTube myself. Learned everything. You can learn everything on YouTube or on the internet. Everything is on the internet. So really, man, a lot of people want to start YouTube channels and all that. A lot of people ask me how to edit. All that stuff is on the internet. It's it's really basic if you just really get into it so uh i just man i just want to tell a lot of people i'm gonna be teaching a lot a lot of stuff 2020 that's just my goal to teach people and bring somebody else up you know okay i i'm not scared to bring somebody else up or teach somebody else i'm not scared of competition that's one thing i don't worry about though i don't worry about competition i i that's i try to stay in my own lane and that's how i've been so creative because I'm not looking at this person or, or not looking at that person and saying, oh, I'm about to compete with them. You yeah. I, I just really, that's how I've been so creative, man. A lot of people tell me, like, man, your videos, you you creative with it. That's what they like. So just be creative, man. It's, it's more coming. Another, like I said, I'm starting another channel probably in a, a month or two. So I'm going to be, man, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be busy. My, my goal this year is just to get big as I can. And, and do big things and make people proud that, that they love me. So. All right, man. That's that's super dope. I mean, I uh, like I said, man, you inspire me. So thank you for coming on the podcast. I appreciate uh, it. What's your social media? Uh, on YouTube is um, SBK Productions. On Instagram is Shop by Kadeem, all one word. On Facebook is Shop by Kadeem. So follow me on there. I do post daily. At least I try to post daily. You see some most of my work on there, so follow me on social media. I be I do be on social media. All right, dope. So you guys heard it. Um, if for you guys watching this, you'll see the podcast come. The last two podcasts that I did coming up on the screen right now. I um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, make sure if you in our area or even if not, because he's branching out. Branching need a out. Video. If you need any any questions? It sounds like you're pretty free, open to that. Um, and. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on, man. man so, much no, love to you. Much love, bro. Peace.